<sighs> Do you know what happened? I love the uh, perception of a child. Daddy from Kitcha. Yeah. It's all given by people who love me. Stardom is not that ocean of uh, crowd, sir. Stardom is creating that ocean of crowd into ticket. Yeah. You know, that is stardom for you. More than two decades uh, in the industry, uh, he is entering yet another exciting phase of his career. Lacks of fans call him Kitcha and Bacha. Uh, we are here to talk to Sudeep ahead of his magnum opus, uh, Vikrant Rona. Hello, sir. Welcome to the show. Morning and welcome home. Yeah, thank you, sir. When it comes to big scale films, uh, I would like to put it in two categories. One that kind of pushes uh, its imagination as far as visuals and ideas are concerned. But it expects the audience to have a blast and entertain, like uh, enjoy, uh, emotionally engaged. Whereas the second category follows the same templates, but it also makes you think. It also keeps you on your toes throughout the screenplay. Uh, where do you put Vikrant Rona in? A little bit of both. Okay. A little bit of both. I'm more on the second side, right. second part of the uh, right. thing. See, uh, one uh, just because. Uh, um, what do you say, uh, probably the film is going to be, uh, as you put it on the template of uh, thinking and other things, doesn't mean we don't carry the, cater the first part. If we do not have the first part in the film, I don't think we can carry the film only with the thinking part or keeping them glued. You can't do that for almost two and a quarter hour, right? Yeah. So yeah, that part is there and uh, what is, what, by, though it's not a part of the question, what I would like to explain is, Whenever we say we are going to have a blast, we are going to have a you know uh, a kind of an entertaining moments or uh, exciting moments in the film, it doesn't mean that it's all forced. All right. It's coming in the flow of the film. Right. So that part is actually is what makes me uh, feel better as an actor because uh, whenever I go through a script, this is something which I at least most of the time try to incorporate that you know don't have forced entertainment. Right. You know, don't have forced characters. Yeah. Just because you feel you need them to entertain people. I think that's injustice to the script as well as the actors doing those characters as well as the characters itself. Yeah. So that way it's all balanced. Second glued part, what you said is yes sir. It, yeah. th that starts off from the first uh, scene itself, okay. goes on till the last. Right. So like uh, if you look at uh, star actors, right, uh, based on their roles, they either kind of have a strong following from the youngsters or you either have uh, actors kind of catering to the family. Uh, but in your case, uh, what I've observed in the last two decades is there's always these toddlers, children, uh, kids loving your movies. Uh, first of all, are you aware of that? And uh, did that come consciously? Uh, did, did you develop that image consciously? And also, uh, can you know Vikrant Throna excite the young, uh, little ones also? Yeah, so I'll come to the last part first. Yes, because if you see our uh, uh, teaser a little yeah. uh, before the trailer, it starts with children. Yeah. And they are somebody I always have, uh, let me put it this way, I love the uh, perception of a child. Right. Whenever, when a child tells you a story, <clears throat> it's far more uh, honest and better in comparison because they have no manipulation over a thought that you know we should excite you, a deliberate wanting to excite you. Right. Children just talk, <sighs> do you know what happened, that came on the rise. I like that part of a perception and uh, the, their thought of a fear is actually not very scary. Okay. But then their expression, that came and that guy came and you know. Right. I love that part. So this is a perception I wanted to have like a, what if, what if the children are the people who are the narrators of this film? Right. So when children become narrators, mm -hmm. see, I wouldn't want to say this is a film like that short, but what is Harry Potter to you? Exactly. Harry Potter is something, sir, we all, <clears throat> as children, we all imagined, you know, like what happens if broom starts mm -hmm. flying? What did they do? They just made it come to life and they made, and that is why we all loved it. What if the pen starts writing by itself? All those things. Yeah. So I like that children's perception actually. Right. That, that it does cater to. And it will be definitely loved by children because a lot, lot more portions of the film has to do with, deals with the children and things like that. Right. And as far as the first half of the, your question goes, sir, I, I didn't make any conscious efforts sir, and I don't think by making conscious efforts that we can win our hearts. I think I just went and catered to all those who are inside me, the child in me, yeah. 
the man in me, the family man in me, the elder person in me, the friend in me. So every time I did a script, I think I was something. One of those people, one of those characters of mine would get, you know, one of those part of mine would get excited. So uh, I was talking to director Anup Bandari of Vikrant Rana. So he said that uh, he he picked three monikers of yours. One is uh, Bacha Kicha Sudeep, Abhinay Chakravarti, and Sudeep the performer. So he says uh, this movie kind of does justice to all three titles of yours. So personally, do you feel as a performer, is this one of your most balanced movie in recent times? Yes, I will. I will say balanced in in an aspect of a script per se, right. um, emotional per se, okay. and the content. See, like uh, recently, I did the Kodi Ko Bhatri. Yeah. I think it had a fabulous character. It had a fabulous storyline, but then I think it catered to. Uh, it wouldn't cater to everybody. Right. So yeah, it it is definitely doesn't mean it's a lesser film. Like yeah. before that, if you go Palwan. Pal one again. It, it had certain very beautiful elements, right. and as an actor, I'm satisfied in all the films what I'm doing. But then you know you cannot really say that you know uh, it balanced in the uh, like catering part. Yeah, yeah. It it catered to fans. Pal one catered to fans, family, but may not be children. Right. I'm not sure about that. But what I'm trying to say is, since it's a sport of that sort, and not many people like uh, many children here are very cricket lovers. Correct. So that way. This one, what happens? I think uh, it's very balanced because uh, it's not just uh, uh, like in a, a watering the commercial elements of me. Okay. There is an actor, right? And uh, when people say uh, we come to a film, sir, we still remember your hucha, we still remember yeah. this. So there's a there is a, a performance uh, which is actually very subtle, okay. and that has come out very well. That right. part has come out, and as for the swag. Definitely is making me uh, making a road to give me that. It's not even making a small dash. Great. It has made a. It's, it's laid a path for me to show the swag through the film. Great. And uh, the attitude comes out as much as you know. It, it it's the character is it. It's come out in abundance any which way. So I right. guess it is balanced. Okay. Children will love it. Right. Right. So just continuing with your acting, right? I'll pick three scenes. One is uh, where you commit suicide in run. And uh, the famous scene where you are taking a steam bath in Iga, and also there is a very terrifying scene in uh, Dabang Three. It's a flashback where you, we know that you are the villain. Uh, I mean, I pick these three just as a reminder of uh, what a great uh, character artist you are, right? But uh, personally, do you feel you have uh, balanced this side of yours? With the star Sudeep that you are uh, on screen, say I have not film. taken the stardom at all, sir. And if right. you ask me what is the what is the height of it or what is the depth of it, I wouldn't know. See, I just know that I wake up in the morning, I go to the set and I enjoy my shoot and I come back home. Okay. I cook, I eat, and I'm with my family and with my friends, and that's about it. These things are not something that is there, and uh, I will not even be looking into it. Okay. I would. I think that will stress you out, sir. I think that will that will make you become responsible for something that you need not be actually. Okay. Oh, like every script that comes, then I have to start looking. Okay, this is catering to them, catering to them. Okay. I think, I think this fan base to everybody and the love that I've got from the industry to the people has only because uh, is only because of the fact that I only went behind scripts. Got. See, it may not be the greatest of the scripts, sir, but it yeah. it did excite me at that moment, and I I'm not I do not regret anything, yeah. and and neither do I want to make few fears, uh, scripts the only reason for my success. Got it. I think I just went by my instinct, and I still believe in that. So okay. everything so, else is a beautiful name, like starting from Kitcha. Yeah. It's all given by people who love me, no. So okay. whether it's that or Abhinay Chakravarti or a Bacha or whatever comes, I think yeah. it's it's all a yeah. love. So, like you mentioned, uh, Hucha, right? Uh, and also there is uh, Swati Mutyam. Then, of course, my autograph. So, uh, but post, I think Kempe Gowda. Uh, what we saw was uh, we we saw you having fun on screen for sure, like the goofy side of yours, the humor which we saw in the Koti Gubba series and everything. But uh, that intensity, what we saw in the first decade of your career, that was missing again. So, was that again just based on you know your instinct and you know you didn't want to stress out with you know? No, I think I had. Enough of seriousness in life, so right. I just went ahead. Right. So, see, I guess uh, I 
we all we all are like that don't we i mean sometimes we are all we all think that you know you know we are born to only do certain things yeah the, see i was i was also in the first decade when you say yeah. i was behaving my age sir okay in behaving my age but not be, not by not picking up the characters of my age correct but i was picking up later i was picking love this is it i had to be so there are these things like there are there are wonderful actors out there and uh, why are we not doing it why are we so so we were i was so engaged in uh, you know trying to say that you know we can also do it we can also so you, i you guess you even said that you are inspired by somebody like a kamal who experienced yeah, yeah. so well, yeah that was a challenge thrown across yeah. see fair enough there what i'm saying is that i was I, we were we were trying to cater to all those challenges yeah you know? and then comes a part like you really say hello i mean uh, they doing well i think we should have some good commercial things we should have some fun on screen we should do so it started when i started this commercial things there was a small story to this you know like uh, so one day i uh, you know like i had gone out of station okay. for a very long uh, schedule got back home i was really tired so my mother said she'll put a little oil so okay. I was, uh, so by the time what happened i had actually was not uh, going through any magazines or i wouldn't see news i wouldn't see reviews i wouldn't see newspapers for certain circumstances i have examples for that why i did it yeah so we'll leave that aside so there was a, there was a magazine which was in front of me okay and uh, my mother had also come from auto station the previous day so she has a habit of going through the kannada magazines and some of the papers and so that was lying there so i pulled it and i said okay let me see pictures okay and as she was putting i was going through the pictures and everything well this is not to humiliate any magazines but it is yeah. me in per se that you know i wouldn't want to see that's it hmm. i was going and then came a page sir okay where all the heroes all pictures are there all hero and pictures are there all right and then there is one line of actors then second line of actors third line of actors it more or less looked like uh, either you are making them happy okay. or you are positioning them got so if i have said if we are positioning them then there are few pictures which is not there which is not in the order got it okay but then uh, if it is not in the order is it alphabetical right i went and it was not alphabetical i came to the heroines part then i thought it almost made sense with the positioning they have done okay. and they are very good at it they do all that and it's fair enough it's okay it's, it's their perception correct but my question was everybody seemed okay like uh, positioning then seniority i was like why am i in the third line in the fourth picture yeah. Yeah. sir i i kind of spent some time looking at this and looking this part looking this part looking this part and everybody looked okay but except my picture was somewhere the, see there's a question which triggered as in it was not angering me it was not upsetting me my question was is this how they are seeing me or is this how i position myself now mm-hmm. though i have business though i have something maybe is it because i do a shanti nivasa i do an autograph i do a musanje matu yeah. is it because of that what is it you know it was there i think i spent a lot of time on that mm-hmm. not at the magazine though, with the thought then i just told myself okay if 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 the first week collections and if this is what is making you something and then i think i i said i'm I, i'm going to go progress this way by doing exactly what is needed right that is when the first veera madakari came out sir yeah and then i gave myself about 5 years time okay. it is not that i was in a hurry yeah then slowly started coming and then came kempegoda then came vishnu ardana then came whatever whatever films i did that's not the point my 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 aim was okay now we have to do this one right this is how we are supposed to go your first week share your first week collections your box office collections so all this thing of meaningful films right. it's not taking you anywhere not though i strongly believe in it right. that there should be a content there should be something so what i did sir i started getting the content what i wanted to say into these commercial aspects got i started sugar coating them like for example a shanti nivasa is no different than manikya got yeah both has the same family same and, content yeah. except yeah. sugar coated right they are very honestly i went to a bakery yeah. and i said sir this is a very good sponge cake eat it 
and then your concentration was more towards the other guy who had brought the same cake with probably a, a, a five star decoration on that. So it was very clear to me that what you preferred. So I started doing that. That's about it. So I started saying the same content. Now I realize, oh, you have to sugarcoat it. That's all, right? So from then on, I think that was a conscious effort where you saw the goofy in me, yeah. the the commercial aspects of me, the dialogues of me, yeah. the dressing sense of me, the coming and the presentations of the films. So yes, there has been a conscious effort, right. and that is how the journey been. And even today, if you take Vikrant Rana, it is highly, highly a content-driven film, which we have commercialized, right. as in not as commercialized as in the scale. Got it. everything, and right. we have said it. So that is that has been the goofy part of me, the right. journey. And also, you rightly put it by saying that it's the perception of people who observe actors <coughs> like you, right? Uh, and I'll talk about journalists as well. And I want to know what do you want to tell uh, journalists or observers who kind of uh, uh, make a conclusion that actors uh, prefer something that's not original. There's already a material. Why not do it here, right? And uh, but uh, what is it that we don't know about industry dynamics that is kind of making you take these decisions? See, it's a survival. So, like for example, uh, <coughs> your paper, your media, you definitely are. Uh, you know, uh, you want to tell the news. See, every news is an interpretation. Yeah, there is. Uh, I wouldn't say it's hundred percent truth. Correct. It is. You go to the site. You collect information, and you collect information from sir, whoever is there, whatever said and done. So we all know that there is a certain amount of truth in every uh, news that comes out, and we follow. That much is enough, so that we we, we see and we collect it. Now maybe you're a channel who say that I want to stick to the news and I want to be the truthful news. I want to do this. I want to do that. Okay, how will you survive if there is no sales at all? How will you survive in the industry if you say, sir, you are very good, sir, but uh, they are number one, number two, number three. Uh, you, okay, sir. I mean, right. now there's a thing that, okay, I am telling the truth. I am doing the best. Then why am I like this? Yeah. And then comes a the point. You say, if because of people or because of that, I am trying to tell myself this is exactly the route I am going. Then why are they supporting that those channels and why are they number one, number two, number three, number four? And why I'm not even in the see? Once you're not number one, number two, number three, it might as well it's okay, sir. Even if you're seven, yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter. Correct. So you now, doesn't that question arise to you? Correct. And then what do you do? You will want to climb up the ladder too, sir. That doesn't mean you may not have, you may not leave out something that is against your soul. Hmm. You will still <coughs> say the same news, yeah. but you will also add music like everybody, no? <laughs> You will also add a pepper and salt to that. You will also add something to make it more, you know, spicy and something. And see, I guess the world operates that way in soda cinema. Your your uh, stardom is nothing but your uh, end of the day the revenue that you're getting out of the the, the theatre. <coughs> it's not that when you go on a road show, mm -hmm. how many how many people are gathered, the ocean of crowd that comes. Now my 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 statement to this is, stardom is not that ocean of. Uh, Crowds are stardom is creating that ocean of crowd into ticket. Correct. Now that is stardom for you. All right. You need to bring people. To yeah. So there can be followers for you, for your personality. There can be followers for you for your speech, for the society, the work you're doing for the society, yeah. how you are, and then there are followers for your films also. Yeah. So now don't don't uh, don't know, don't bring everything and say you know how many people follow me. No no no. How many are converting into tickets, sir? That is that is your following for cinema. Yeah. Of course, people follow me for Big Boss. People follow me for so many things. Yeah. I can't take. I, I take pride in everything, but I can't say everything is converting into tickets. So why we sit for promotions? Yeah. Why we sit to do is push, get the interest done. Right. You know the dynamics of cinema works like that. So it's very easy for outsiders or people who are not in the fraternity to say why is he choosing films like this. Sir is choosing he or she are choosing this films because they have done the other side also. Correct. Yeah. Or some of them have not done the other side and they are scared to. Got it. <coughs> so when it comes to totally survival, personal, yeah. sir, somebody will overtake you immediately, sir. Yeah. If you do not have a smartness. Correct. And the smartness is not that none of us are doing bad films. And there are a lot more to this, sir. I mean, like uh, fair enough. See, your questions are fair when you ask from outside. Yeah. 
Yeah. I guess if we also can like probably cater you a few answers and balance it, I think it will be yeah. fine. Yeah. That you know, don't don't put it across to actors as it's a social responsibility Correct. and everything. Yeah. They are also trying to craft out a life. Exactly. They are also having issues at home. They are trying to meet. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you mentioned uh, Musanjay Mahato and uh, there was Shantini Vasa, but you missed out uh, Just Math Mahatali. So when I watched it, uh, it appeared as if that you know you were in no hurry in terms of music or the story. It was something very close to you, and you crafted it the way you wanted it. Yeah. E- even the climax of sorts, you didn't want it to be a happy ending. Of sorts. I, so, see, I, I, because uh, I'll finish it. Again. Yeah. So my question was, do you miss that yes. writer director? Yes. Yes. See, uh, I'm a strong believer. What goes around comes around. Okay. And that's what Jasmat Matali was all about. Yeah. Very karmic. <laughs> and. Uh, also the fact that you know yes and no if not used properly in life you know where it can lead you so these are some things i wanted to get and i wrote a very pure love story as and he doesn't even touch her you know there's so much of love between them and you know it's just over a matter of interactions and i i strongly believe so that's how probably for me yeah i'm a guy who would like to uh, who who will probably like a person because of their mind mm. because of their speech and content of speech mm. their intelligence maybe right. that appeals to me you know I, who are a man woman anybody right. you know so that is what i brought on the screen and uh, i was f- probably 5 years ahead of my time when i made that film yeah. so much later it became a cult hit and everybody till day sing and express that and there is not a single there is not a single person who seen the film once they seen it multiple times or either at least in parts they keep saying it Correct. you know that that's happiness for me yes sir i i miss making films like that and doesn't mean i don't mm. but probably i can't very openly i'm telling you i may not be able to make it as yeah. genuinely yeah. honestly as a director that i was then probably my mind operates in a different way today as yeah. to how do i as i say you know like it's a very cliche word but how do i sugar coat it mm. how do how do i get in something else that can that again is not forced but how do i do something that can appeal to everybody and not just go on a, a longer run it has to be a, you know a good opening and appealing title you know something like that got it so uh, talking specifically about kannada film industry um, of course there's a lot of talk about this pan india wave right and in one of the interviews you made a valid point that pan india uh, is not about just releasing movies in different states but it's also about people coming and watching there you can always kind of dub it and release it so but that uh, struck me that you know do you know like a success model uh, for a film to be uh, truly pan india if you ask me as a formula i don't think we will have it sir right. i just know that what gives you the experience of a probable probability mm. is whatever is running around right. you know whether it is on the ott platform or somewhere we just have a look and you know why did people love this so much you know yeah. or why is that doing so well okay this did very well there so what did they like in this so when that it just gives you a small sneak peek again you can't be sure yeah. if you if you try to clone that thoughts you will fail again and then suddenly you'll be wondering are i did almost like that so then people will come and tell you are yaar wo dekhe the yaar humne aapne kyu aisa banaya hai okay that's how it is no like hey aisa hi yaar wo wo film chala tha to isliye ek aur clone aa gaya abhi so but then sir i guess as as we as makers we all are trying to understand and probably you know one thing is for sure sir we may not be very sure of the entire 100% of what should be delivered but we are not unsure also we have an idea sir we have an idea about the script whether should we take shouldn't we take if we take how should we uh, d- yeah. deliver it so what is going to appeal to everybody how do you make it a universal story mm-hmm. you know any cultural story any deep culture story of any state also can be a pan india sir yeah. if you think that you know you know so it's it's something to do with our culture no no we can't sir. but t- then tell me in hindi films when they were coming here they were all cultural films like for example if they say hum aapke hai kaun it was dealing with some culture of wedding yeah, celebration idea of big family yeah see our idea of big family is like long tables and leaves and banana leaves and food and all that sir but theirs is like lavishness oh, of a gujarati it. thing and a bengali or a whatever it is we have enjoyed it how did a movie like a parasites do the rounds in such big way and even go to the oscars you tell me that because what they planned it no they believed it 
and they went after it. I think that it just sums up there that you know, can you believe in what you're doing? Yeah. And go ahead. Got it. So uh, again, sticking to Sandalwood itself, uh, there is a narrative that either uh, the Canada film industry is really punching above its weight always. Or uh, th there is another narrative that says that it could have got a better exposure than it is getting now. Like uh, something that's kind of not known towards a larger section of people. So uh, what is, uh, at this current moment, what is your understanding of the industry's uh, reputation and the status? I think we are standing at a very great position at the right time or the, at the right place. Right. There's always a timing but, and we shouldn't be in a hurry. Now, going back and complaining and saying industry could have been better or whatever. So, it is always a thought, right? After the exams are over, even the parents, we as parents, everybody says, gee, she could have got better. Yeah. See, we will never settle for less, sir. Yeah. We will never settle for less. It's, it's, a human, it's a human ground psychology, you can't help it. Okay. I think Kannada industry has done what it, is, what it has to be done, what had to be done at the right time. Yeah. When Kannada industry was booming, it boomed, sir. In the 70s, 80s yeah. and all, it boomed. And people from After different that, states came and watched. Whatever, yeah. they were, we were booming, sir. That much is there. Yeah. And then came a phase, there were invasions of all languages into the state. And we were doing a survival business then. And there itself, if you say, though people thought there is no business, people like Ramu, sir, and everybody, they came out. Upi, sir's movies and Shivana's movies, Ravi, sir's movies. Yeah. They were going bizarre over the budgets and yeah. they survived, sir. Yeah. They were fighting. They were fighting not just our, uh, they were not fighting the villains of the film, they were fighting the invasions. Okay. And the invasions didn't mean they were also wrong. They were penetrating yeah. because there was a space. Okay. So, in the 90s and I think uh, whatever they have done is something that should be remembered a lot. Okay. Because uh, if they had not fought yeah. and it was not to look good, like uh, dress up well and even I look like a swag. They were fighting and when they are fighting, how do people look sir, as warriors? They will look dirty. Yeah. They will be with blood and whatever. So, I think those heroes of the 90s and thing, I think era, they are really strongly responsible for actually withstanding the invasion. And then came a time again, when again little Canada started happening. Hmm. Where in the initial days, when I used to see that my initial days, hmm. that is from the 2000s and other things. But then invasion was at its peak. But then Canada had its due also. It was not that nobody survived. Then again, our generation heroes came. Yeah. We survived a bit. Yeah. It went on, sir. Right. Till this whole thing has come up now. And I think it is positioned in such a beautiful way that I think, I think it is there when the right time, at the right time. Right. When the peak businesses are happening, when the survival of the fittest is happening, mm -hmm. and all the uh, what is it, doubts are at its peak about theatricals, Correct. Canada is booming. I think it is the best way to put it across that it, it is the best that could happen. So yeah, I know that you don't like this term uh, new gen filmmakers because you see them just as filmmakers. Uh, but my point is like um, if somebody who wants to make a movie with you and he terms himself as a pure uh, filmmaker. Like there was a talk about you know thugs of uh, Malgudis which kind of didn't work and now you are working with uh, Anu Bandari. So like for a youngster to collaborate with you, what is it that you like or kind of the spark that you see? What is it that interests you in that youngster? I'll come to the first part. Yeah. I have no issues with the word new gen okay. uh, directors <laughs> or makers. Right. It's just that we don't look at it that way is what I say. Because when somebody comes and tells us a story, yeah. he doesn't come with, a, come with a tag here that you know I'm a new gen. Okay. And I'm not sitting with the whole thing like you know, I'm already two decades old gen. It's not that. I think it's your mind. I, is it operating to today's time? Even a new generation can be an old thought, sir. Old school. Yeah. How do you say that? right? A guy who's coming who's very new director can make a film which looks like 80s. Yeah. Which has happened also. You, I'm sure you've witnessed many films. You said like, yeah, yeah, I mean like, why have you made a film like this? Like 80s ka, 90s ka, yeah. You know, I'm yeah. sure whether it's not just Canada, any language. Yeah. So then, then suddenly you'll come across a guy like one person who would have been in the from the 90s, uh -huh. who's making a film of today's times, and he surprises you. Okay. I don't think it's the age, or the or the probable, uh, what do you say, your skin. The tightness of your skin which defines you by your age, I think it's your mind. So, I think if a new gen actor has made a script and come here, that means my mind is catering to his thought of today, right? Yes. So, this that is where I was trying to say, don't put these terms like that because 
it doesn't operate that way secondly when they want to come thugs of uh, thugs of malgudi when he came yeah it was a dream we wanted to do but then you know life goes different angles he had he got busy he was certain and then he's still busy yeah. and i think uh, in a recent interview also he expressed that he's doing a film punya koti or something yeah. that and uh, he said i'll do it after that right. again i told in an interview he said don't believe that guy <laughs> because he's, a, he's got a, he's a, there's a child in him you know he just gets excited and he just jumps right. and that doesn't mean uh, i i i offend i get offended by that yeah. the day we had to work we will work sir i know that sir he he writes very well and uh, he he definitely has a lot of respect for me and he loves to work with me i would love to work with him so this will happen when it has to happen right. apart from that i'm i till, till today when i'm sitting here it's all today's directors today's boys coming here trying to that's all that that so say yeah they see that in me and i can deliver right so this is my last question and this is about understanding of the audience right or we call it as fans as well so let's keep aside the fan wars and everything that happens on social media i want to know like since i have more time than you i keep following discussions about your movies and there's a lot of passionate discussions going on that you no know, he could have done this uh, we miss him in this like that so like do you kind of uh, like through your sources or something try to understand what is the talk that is going around from the fans about you i think uh... I totally understand their perspectives and the love they want to see me in certain characters. Yes sir, I like to cater, but then uh, what happens uh, if if I take only that intention and get into a script, mm. I will fail. Because I'm trying to cater. I'm not trying to live. Now when I look at a script, I like to live that role. I'm going to see the next to whatever one year if I'm there in that film, probably about 120 days of shoot. how am i going to do it what am i going to do what is that i'm going to take away what is that i can have fun with you know as long as you are enjoying it sir you will like this interview sir if yeah. if i'm enjoying it i can talk sir right others trust me even if your question is 2 minutes length i'll cut it at one word yeah i've seen that sources for me is only about understanding the marketing what is new in the marketing yeah. what is new in the way we approach a film what is new in the technical aspects of making a cinema mm-hmm. what is new to deliver what is new to entertain here so thank you so much for talking to deccan herald uh, it was wonderful and all the best for vikrant road thank you so much and wonderful speaking to you sir some good innovative questions thank you <laughs>